in 2012, I start seeing articles and a little stuff online popping up about the ketogenic diet for cancer. Hmm, what's this about? And went down that rabbit hole. I understand on the surface that cancer cells run on glucose. And if you deprive the body of glucose, you're starving cancer cells. Then they can't use ketones for fuel. It's the best anti-cancer diet. And it's so sciencey. Thomas Seafried wrote this textbook about it. And so I'm like, wow, this is fascinating. I'm really interested in this. I started talking about my interest in it and had an interview with someone about it on my blog. But I had, I had this funny feeling about it. I had this uneasiness about it and I couldn't shake it. Something is weird about this. So I just kept paying more and more attention and then I realized, well, wait a minute. There's all these people saying how great it is. Where are the survivors? Where are they? Where are the people who did reverse their cancer with this diet? And I realized there's a couple, right? It's like I can count on one hand. And one of the big proponents, who was a, a chiropractor, that was a few years ago. He had brain cancer, was just telling everybody how great it was, and he died. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And then somebody else I knew who was the big ketogenic diet promoter and was a breast cancer survivor, her cancer came back. I'm like, okay, wait a second. There's more to this than meets the eye. So then I went, started really going down the rabbit hole. I talked to a friend of mine who runs a Gerson clinic in Mexico. He was like, it doesn't work. Don't do it. Don't tell anyone to do it. It doesn't work. And then Dr. Nick Gonzalez, the late Dr. Nick Gonzalez, wrote an amazing article dismantling it. Huge, just lengthy piece about the history of alternative cancer treatments, about the ketogenic diet, about Atkins. Most people don't know that Dr. Atkins had a wing in his clinic where he was treating cancer patients with a ketogenic diet and it was a colossal failure. This article rocked my world pretty hard. And then I started really digging into the actual published studies on the ketogenic diet. Okay, well, what are these studies? What studies are, are out there? What are they actually finding or proving or whatever? And that's what it actually got, for lack of a better word, comical, okay? There are several rat studies where they find that the rats live longer on a ketogenic diet. But what they did was they implanted human gliola, human brain cancer into a rat's body, which would never happen. Brain cancer doesn't metastasize into the body. But anyway, they put human brain cancer into a rat and they put these rats on a ketogenic diet. Again, humans aren't rats either. And the rats lived 55 days longer on a ketogenic diet plus hyperbaric oxygen therapy than the rats that weren't on it. Okay, they live longer, but they're rats and it's an unrealistic scenario. There's another rat study where they live longer on a supplement called Keto Cal. They lived five days longer. The rats that were given Keto Cal and treated with radiation, they achieved remission. I don't know how long the remission was, they achieved remission. The, the rats treated with just the ketogenic diet only live five days longer than the control rats. And then there's a pilot study on humans where there were 16 patients that were treated ketogenic diet. Then there's another 2012 study that found that tumors can use ketones for fuel. And there's a study that came out uh, in 2017 last year. There's a certain genetic mutation in some types of cancer that allows them to grow faster with ketones. So basically, 50% of melanomas will grow faster if you are on a ketogenic diet. 10% of colon cancers, 100% of hairy cell leukemia grow faster on ketones, and about 5% of multiple myelomas. There's a couple other studies, patient studies, where they give them a ketogenic diet and they do a little bit better for a little while, but no one's cured. The 2018 study on mice found that when they combined inhibiting drugs with ketogenic diet, it worked better than just the drug. But the mice that they gave the ketogenic diet, they had accelerated cancer growth of acute myeloid leukemia. The evidence is so weak. The weirdest thing about it is that there's all these people running around saying how great this diet is for cancer. And when you look at the published studies, it's terrible. It's not really proving anything. Mice live a little longer than die. Humans maybe live a few months longer and then die. Or it works better if you combine it with radiation than not. Okay, well that's something. 
But at the end of the day, in the absence of good clinical trials on humans, you've got to just compare the anecdotal evidence. And if, if that's all we have to look at, the anecdotal evidence is huge. We have decades and decades and decades of survivor stories. One of the funnest things I do is interviewing people who've healed and they're all doing the same thing. There's not a restriction on carbohydrates. They're eating tons of fruits and vegetables. Most of them are juicing and changing their whole lives and all that. Why are we ignoring what's working? Why would we ignore that in favor of a fad diet that has almost no evidence, anecdotal or otherwise, and is completely unhealthy, unnatural, and unsustainable? There's no population in the world that eats a ketogenic diet. There's no ancestral population that eats that way. There are no hunter-gatherers that eat that way. Even the Inuits and the Eskimos who eat a lot of fat are not in ketosis. And it's just, unfortunately, it's consumed the culture. It's just the biggest fad. It's just like Atkins. Atkins was everywhere. There were whole grocery store sections devoted. If you remember, there were entire aisles of Atkins products. Atkins friendly, like the Atkins label was on like everything back in the, I guess, 90s. And it's just, you know, history repeats itself. Every time I turn around, something is keto this, keto that. The fad will pass. I'm ready for it to pass so we can get back to the stuff that's helping people. <laughs>